Hey, Rowie, hey. here uh, on the Synthex Academy. I've been told to come and see this, as well as you coming up and saying, hey, do you want to shoot a video? So here we are. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, uh, so um, thank you for coming. This is uh, Spotekach, Synthex Academy. And Spotekach is basically a looping playground, you can see it, as basically you have two uh, um, modular loopers that can be either in real mode, slice mode, or drift mode. In real mode, they're basically tape, and we can try this in a second. In slice, they do uh, uh, time stretching, and they're basically playing like uh, 2000s IDM music. And in drift, that is uh, um, sort of like generative granular synthesis. Okay. So let's first of all start with uh, playing with Emma here. She's going to play some violin and I'm going to play the kalimba. Let's maybe start with the kalimba basic. So I'm going to do Alt play to arm the recording. And once I start playing, OK, so now we have a loop. And what's the length, the maximum length? It's uh, 42 seconds uh, to 50. It depends if you are overdubbing. Ah, OK. For each deck. So right. we have, yeah. So now what I can do is I can make the loop really short. And scan through with a position. Ah, OK. I can also use some uh, pitch cables, uh, patch cables. So for instance, I could get So now I am modulating the position. But what I can also do is modulate the size simply by moving to the left. And I can also modulate in between. So now I'm modulating both of them at the same time. I can reverse and I can pitch up. Oh, nice. And I can mix between B and A. So let's now go to A and record M there. Uh, so I'm going to get some reverb on, and let's uh, start recording. You ready? Uh, yeah, actually, let's hear what we did, so we can... So is the, are these mono, are they mono loopers or stereo? These are actually stereo. So both of them are now in stereo mode. It's routed stereo. Could right. also be routed mono or generative and experimental. Uh, and now we basically have two different loops that we could send CV to. For instance, the same CV. I can actually get CV even from here. I have an internal LFO. Um, two of them. So this is a sample and hold and square and envelope follower for A and sine wave and sawtooth and envelope follower for B. So I could now take the, this signal from here and I can send it into the mix. So now we see how the mix is being animated. And we are hearing the sound coming from the A deck and B deck. Right. We can also sequence. Do we have another minute? We can maybe yeah, sequence. Yeah, okay. okay, so let's do something else now. Let's say that we're more in techno world. I have here Platts as the sound source, and when I do... And the, the reverb is coming out externally. Yeah, sorry, right? so let's okay, maybe yeah. take the reverb off. Okay, so we have now Platts, and we're monitoring the sound that's coming from Platts. Okay, so this is our incoming signal. Let's do Alt Tap, and now we have our clock coming from Pla from uh, Pamela's new workout. Okay. Okay. So we're synced. I can't really make a mistake here. I'm just going to do Alt Play. It's going to start recording. I'm just going to play, and now I have here this loop. Sorry, it's pitched down. This is the original loop. Yeah. 
if we're turning now to here, we're going to hear our input. We can mix between both of them. Ah, okay, okay, cool. There's another thing that we can do now. We can now go, and we're now in slice mode, not in real mode. Real is like tape, slice is like a computer slicing yeah. and chopping. So because we're on clock, we can actually go on the clock. Oh, interesting. Right, and I can now move on my position to find another part to play with. Okay? Yeah. But what's really cool is I actually have a built-in metronome here which I can play by holding tap and turning this knob. And it's actually a kick, so we can use it as a kick as well. And now I can create a sequence. So I'm going to turn the sequence on by holding Alt in sequence. So that's recording like a trigger sequence. Yeah. Now we have a polyphonic polyphonic looper. Oh wow, okay. This is only the loop. Because it's in slice mode, I can also multiple slices at different times. I right. can also pitch it and it will stay in time. So it's now time stretching. If I would do it in real mode, it will be time and uh, pitch are connected. Right, I see. So it's, it's like a Rex, almost, or a, a large grain slice, right. Can you trigger um, record, enable, and on and off, so you can get absolutely bang on? Or do Exactly. So we have gate in and gate out. Right. We could use that to uh, control our uh, uh, sequencing also. And we also have Volper Octave, so we could connect it to a keyboard uh, and play polyphonic loop. Wow, OK, interesting. Yeah. So is this available now? How long has it been out? Yeah, so um, this is a pre-release. We right. have only 100 units. They're going to be available only in the coming days. And as soon as we get to 100 units, we're already in 70. So as soon as we get to 100, we're going to close this. And um, it's actually a 100 euro discount. And we also have an Oaka microphone, the one that I used here, ah, okay. that's yep. worth 220 euros and is handmade in the UK by Ezra Gray. Um, is going to come for free with a unit. Wow! It's uh, so it's six six fifty for the whole thing. Right. Um, and the, the special thing is because we're a nonprofit and we're a community, the idea is that the hundred people that are participating now are going to join workshops where we're going to come up with more features and implement them into the product. So you can which is going to be released officially right. in October. Oh, nice! And then it's going to be more expensive without the microphone. So now, like, if this is for you, this is the time to get it. Fantastic. Um, yeah, but the official. Uh, so sorry, the the pre-release is going to be in uh, September. So you're going. Uh, sorry. The release. The pre-release is going to be in June. Yeah. So you actually buy it now, and you're going to receive it in June. Yeah. And then uh, the official release is going to be in October. Ah, uh, okay. So where? So within June until October, where you'll can be able buy to. It? Do sorry? they buy it from your website? Yeah, you can buy it from the website. Um, if you. If you go, uh, uh, yeah, the QR code, exactly. Let's see if I can make that full screen for you. Scan this, folks. <laughs> yeah. Um, then, uh, yeah, you can get it now and join us. It's, it's really exciting. Um, as part of the manual that's going to come in, in October, all the people who participate uh, in, in the pre-release are going to be named there. So it's really a community that is developing this whole firmware and the alternative firmwares that will come in the future. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Emmy.